well, the event, I've been to India Joy uh, for many years actually, since its inception just about. And um, I, I've noticed that it's grown a lot, which is amazing. It's lovely to see so many more students coming and so many more of the professionals are here. I mean, a day like today, I've met most of the people that I've worked with over the 17 years, including ex-employees and, and future employees, as well as a lot of the directors, producers, writers, and, and all the, the craftsmen of, of the work that we do. So it's fantastic, it gives us all a chance to be together and to exchange ideas and, and discuss projects from the past and the future and so on, so it's really wonderful. The good thing which I liked about the India Joy is that uh, it sums every, I mean, it, it includes every sector, that's uh, IGDC, that's the gaming sector, then there's a VFX summit focused on VFX and DC Dunes which is on family animation. So, I mean, this is the this is the main uh, reason, you know, this is, it stands out more because you, you're focusing on every sector and it's, it's more, uh, and, and the attention is given to all the sector, sectors equally. So that's that's the main thing, and and also you know, for like for example, IGDC, it's been there for this is the 11th or 12th edition, and it's just growing year by year. So that's where the proper business happens when then the, the conference is more specific to uh, you know to one particular sector. It's a very very unique festival. It's my first time uh, at India Joy. Uh, the AC Tunes, of course, is the, in its first year. Uh, it's, it's a very good platform for us to come together, uh, especially uh, when you say animation, uh, because all the stakeholders come together and then discuss, little do we get to know a perspective of the other stakeholders to be able to then clear a, uh, see a holistic picture on their entire animation industry. And this, I think, is a great platform to do that. It's amazing, that's what, uh, because I heard that it's like a totally overbooked and a lot of people has to go back. And, uh, and I saw the presentation which we mm -hmm. have, fully packed, crowded and and one good thing is a lot of students. Yeah. Because a lot of other places wherever I do, it's like a, not the real students. Mm -hmm. It's like a, they are all just passing crowd or maybe if you take a Indian broadcast or anything, they are like a just regular crowd there. But here, we are developing the future. Mm -hmm. So that is a, one of the, uh, we are teaching to the next generation. Yeah. Uh, we are reaching a more mature stage where people that are in the industry don't see themselves just as competing for business, which we were really, really kind of paranoid about for some reason before, and it held us back a bit. And now I think we're reaching a beginning to reach a maturity, where we know that in the field we might be competing with some projects, but I think we can achieve more through the cooperation with each other on areas of policy, areas of skill development, areas of engagement with the governments, areas of, you know, what shall we do to look at the workplace and the curriculum and the future itself, right? So this is where I think India Joy and it is, is, is going to be fantastic because it also has other components of how content is made. Right? I'm standing right here in front of you, in front of the camera. But that is really old fashioned. Because if you wanted to make something great out of what I'm saying today, you'd make it inside or behind this camera. That's the change that's coming in this industry. And that's what digital does, that's what animation does. And as I said before, and I said to the minister today, let's go beyond <coughs> talking about content for entertainment. The skills and tools and technologies that we deploy are across design, imaging, and simulation. We can help Dassault build the next aircraft, or we can create an aircraft for the next Steven Spielberg movie that has to land on water because some story happened around that. And they're both very valid, very accurate, very authentic aircraft that can actually fly. And if you made that aircraft in the factory of Airbus, it would fly. So the boats we make for light Dubai did not sink. Nor did they in the Pirates of the Caribbean and so on. But they were done to a reality that is physically valid. And I think that's where the industry is today, to make sure that things are so advanced when it comes to the, comes to the, the, the crossing between as I said, physics and, and the understanding of art and sciences and the perfect level. And the final point I wanted to make, which I think this, this, this uh, uh, pavilion today is lacking, is the focus on software and tools and pipelines in the future. We are, you hit a tennis ball in Hyderabad or in Bangalore, and it lands on a developer. Right? So let's hit some tennis balls and let's get those developers here and let's start making some really cool stuff that can actually change the the way that a CG is done worldwide. So that's my thoughts around India Joy. I'm, I'm always joyful as you know, and I'm always Indian as you know. So this is just my name written all over the, all over this.
festival. I was taking a stroll at H&M corner here yeah. and I have been present for most of the presentations inside the VFX Summit and uh, I have visited almost all the stalls and I was quite excited. A lot of new products have been launched and... A any product you've been enthused by? Like something you picked yeah. up, fascinated you? Yeah, I, I saw a 3D television here with a wish we can watch without wearing any extra accessories on our eyes and I was quite excited. No specs anymore. So good. I have also seen a couple of uh, guys uh, demonstrating the motion capture devices. And also quite excited with the kind of uh, initiative and kind of interest the students are showing here, mm. participating in what kind of competitions. And that's great. Yes.